Equities opened the session on Friday, heading down to low, the lows of the week and then see a subsequent rally getting us back in the green. So after Thursday's new all-time highs, yet again, we see a sell-off, subsequent sell-off overnight and then come in this morning and see equities on the lows. But we're able to muster some uh, some buyers to come in and we saw actually uh, equities and even S&Ps get back to unchanged and actually settle higher on the day. Didn't quite get to those all-time highs again, but it was certainly a bullish way to end the week at least getting off the lows. Now, one thing that may be in equities way here is we've watched equities go higher over the, basically we've seen some hiccups, but equities have basically been trading higher all year. Uh, one of the things we have to keep an eye on are those treasury yields. Now, 10 year old treasury yields are at around 175. That's up 80 basis points on the year. That's just year to date in 2021. Now the dividend, the S&P dividend 12 month yield is around 147. So right now we are hovering at about 25 basis points over in 10 year old yield. That level, that continues to widen. That's gonna to start to allure some buyers away from equities as the risk-free rate trades so far above the risk rate or at least the riskier rate in the S&P yield. So keep an eye on those two. That, that's obviously gonna be something that we watch going forward. Treasury yields have been creeping higher all year. And yes, we did talk about this several weeks ago when the two crossed, but now we're starting to get to levels that we should start to see buyers move out of equities and into treasuries. Keep an eye on those two uh, those two marks, 10 year old treasury yield and the 12 month S&P dividend yield. What does this all mean for volatility? Well, as equities go higher, volatility historically has gone lower, and that is the case here as well. Uh, volatility in the equity indices is gonna settle at its lowest since prior to the pandemic. So uh, it looks to me like the, the fear index has now become, once again, the no fear index. As we look ahead, look for those equities, can you hire volatility lower? And likewise, if we see a reversal, I would expect volatility to go higher if equities start to fall apart, but they haven't done that yet. Lastly, what do we have next week? Well, next week we have a few big numbers. We have durable goods, which are expected lower, and we have the claims number, which is our week to week check in on where the jobs market is doing. This week, claims were higher than expected. They're expecting those to go back down. Again, claims at right around 750, 760,000 filings per week. It's lower than it was at the, heat of, at the height of the pandemic, but it's still about three to four times more than it was prior to the pandemic. So those numbers remain elevated and very concerning. Keep an eye on what we see uh, there in those claims numbers. Lastly, we have Mr. Powell speaking yet again. He's speaking in front of Congress as part of the CARES Act. His testimony will be with Secretary Tre Treasury Secretary Yellen. It is a scheduled uh, testimony. It's not something out of left field, despite what we had this week with the FOMC. This has nothing to do with that. This will be basically uh, the Treasury Secretary and the Fed Chairman giving their testimony on where they see the economy and where they see the, the policies that have been put in place under the pandemic and how they're doing and possibly what they see as maybe a little bit of forward guidance for the economy moving forward. So no big surprise there. Now we do have Mr. Clarita, the vice chair speaking on Friday. He could give some uh, interesting words if Mr. Powell's uh, testimony is misinterpreted in any way by the markets, he's there to kind of clean it up. So equities having yet another big week, a new all-time high and settling, uh, trading down after the new all-time high, getting this, their sea legs back under, trading higher. But keep an eye on those treasury yields. That could be the one thing that stops equities from moving higher in the weeks ahead.